So I go out in the morning to fire up the tractor, and here's what I find. All right, welcome to another today's fun project. It's always something. I'm out here at the shed, went to fire up the tractor, and uh, I saw this. All right, it's kind of drying up now, but I find about, I don't know, $10 worth of gasoline on my uh, shed floor here. You can kind of see it's still a little wet. It's drying up. The ply, enough to buckle the plywood. So, let's see what the issue is. Okay, so back at the tractor. Here's what I found. This is the, uh, here's your fuel pump. If you need to know uh, how to install this electric fuel pump, this is the 20 horsepower Kawasaki. I got a video on that. I'll leave it, uh, the link in the description below. Anyhow, so here's the filter, which ties into the supply hose, which is up here by my finger. That's in there, and I just see down here, drip, drip, drip. So, what is it? Oh, I thought, well, maybe the hose connection here is a little loose. You know, right here, because this is a little bit spongy, this line. So I put another clamp on, tighten it down real good. Still dripping. Okay. Pull this off. I put a vacuum tester on it, right? I vacuum test it with my vacuum tester. One of these. Put a few pumps on that. Watch the gauge. It's not holding vacuum. Alright, so I'm saying I don't hear any air sucking in. Well, then I take it over to the water. And I'll show you that step next. Let's put this under pressure. Hopefully you'll be able to see uh, what I'm seeing. So, what I'm seeing is a bunch of farting bubbles here. It's in the water. Can you see that right there? Right over in this area. Look right there. I don't have the left side capped off too well, so there's some bubbles coming through there. Look at that. Now let me give you a close-up of this shit. Right here. Right in this seam, this factory seam. I'm telling you. Is it the alcohol in the fuel? Is it made in China? Yeah, there's two for two right there. So it looks like I'll go get another filter. This was not a Kawasaki, that's a Kawasaki engine. It wasn't a Kawasaki filter. It was one of those name brand filters from Depot or Lowe's, one of those places. So that little seam is separating. Bitch. The new filter's in. And as you can see, no drips. I'll turn on the electric fuel pump. Turn this on. You can hear it pulsating. Nice and dry. All right, so that's the sign of the times. Um, I got a John Deere, that filter there is a John Deere replacement. So hopefully that'll work out better than the other one. I'm gonna do some research and find out where that company exactly makes their product and uh, what their warranty is on it. Anyway, if you go out to your shed this spring to fire up your riding mower or your tractor or whatever you have that has an inline fuel filter and you're out of gas and you know last fall you're not losing your mind, you filled up that tank and it's dry, well that's a good place to go check because that's the first place I would check. So don't forget to check out the uh, 1 million viewer video that I have. Um, I'm giving away that DeWalt bit kit. So all you need to do is be a subscriber to my channel and leave a comment on that video and you're entered. It's free of charge. And I appreciate you guys watching. I'll see you on the next one. Take it easy.